Today I am showing you three different ways to do smash burgers in your backyard, plus a wicked delicious homemade burger sauce. And of course, we gotta try out the viral smash burger taco. I think you'll be surprised by which one was my favorite. Let's do it. Now, because we're doing smash burgers three different ways today, that means I got to do a little bit of prep before we get started in the cooking process. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my burger sauce. I'm using this burger sauce on all three of my smash burgers today. Start with mayo, this is the easiest sauce ever. Slice dill pickles, I like to dice them really fine. And we go pretty heavy on the pickles at our house. And then a little bit of my everything barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce at home. Or you can buy my everything sauce and then this will become your new favorite barbecue sauce. All right, burger sauce is ready. Set that aside. Now let's talk about each of the three smash burgers that I'm making. Because we love smash burgers, we make them all the time. We just go classic toasted bun, good old 80-20 beef, smashed on the flat top with my beef seasoning, American cheese, and my burger sauce. They are perfect, they are fantastic. However, sometimes you wanna mix things up. And we have seen the smash burger tacos everywhere. I think they've been viral for like four months at this point. If you guys know, I am the latest and the last to every single trend that exists. However, I couldn't not give these ones a try. So we're gonna treat them just like a smash burger, but instead of buns, we're going with corn tortillas toasted on the flat top. And then the last one we're doing is gonna be some sliders. My kids are obsessed with all things sliders, so I wanted to see if I could make some smash burger sliders. These ones are going to be a little bit tricky because instead of measuring out tiny little balls, I'm gonna do a meat sheet on the flat top and then kind of steam the top bun on there, almost White Castle style. So, I can't wait. First thing I gotta do to be ready to get them on the griddle is portion out my beef. I'm gonna portion my burger balls in three different sizes. I've got about mm, four to five ounces for my smash burgers. I'm gonna go a little bit larger for my smash burger tacos since I have the slightly larger tortillas. But if you had the smaller like street taco tortillas, I would go smaller than your regular burgers. And then for my sliders, I'm actually gonna make a sheet, like a little meat sheet <laughs> that's gonna be slightly larger than the size of this. Oh, no, 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 because I gotta smash it. Mm. I'm figuring this out on the fly for these sliders. Do I make a ton of tiny balls? No, I'm not gonna make some tiny balls. I'm actually gonna make like four bigger portions that I can still flip, but will fit onto my slider buns. I've got my burgers portioned, I've got my beef ready, I've got my cheese ready, I've got my burger sauce ready. Everything is prepped because smash burgers go fast. The very first thing that I'm gonna do is toast off my buns. So I've got my slider buns cut in half. I've got my pre-cut burger buns. We're gonna toast the inside of both of these because I think every burger deserves a toasted bun. It's just like a little bit of extra love and goodness. And then we're gonna start smashing some beef. My favorite part of the day. That was fast and furious burger cooking. All three of them took about the same amount of time to cook. It was awesome to just work from one burger type to the other. Now that we're all on our toasty buns and toasty tortillas, I'm gonna top each with a little bit of my burger sauce. You can also add whatever additional toppings you would like here to make it your burger. Shredded lettuce, red onions, sliced tomato, extra pickle. All of it is good, but we're going diner style and we're just gonna eat these classic smash burger, right? Burger sauce, cheese, bun, meat. That's what it's all about. We have all the texture and flavor that we need right here. Now one of the reasons that I cooked all of these with the same ingredients on them was because I really was looking at style. I wanna figure out what my family's favorite burger style is. Maybe it's sliders, maybe we like the crispy tortilla shell, or maybe we just stick with our favorite smash burger. But doing them all the same flavor makes this a slightly more controlled experiment. I got all three burgers done. Brandon and Todd are gonna come in and taste test with me, and we're gonna pick a favorite. You have to let me know before we jump into it and give you our answers. What do you think the favorite is gonna be? And if you've made these versions of before, let me know what your favorite one is in the comment section. All right, come on, gentlemen. 
Todd's going to have a struggle because yesterday he got braces on his mouth. So he's going to have to eat something. I'm going smash burger first. Grab one, boys. This is so good. Looks dry. Mm, I kept them classic. We just getting the comments out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try a bite at the end of your taco. Godspeed. Well, there's nothing better than smash burgers. I'm so happy. I mean, all three of them are a smash burger, right? But I think my favorite form factor is the classic form factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Flavor-wise, I actually surprisingly prefer the taco. No I way. like the corn tortilla mm -hmm. shell, and you kind of get a double meat situation. It's almost like a double stack burger because the way that it's folded in half. I hate the construction of it. I hate that it falls apart. I hate that the meat breaks when you fold it. There's a lot about it that I don't like from a construction standpoint, but but the corn tortilla is what makes it taste so yeah. good. Yeah. Flavor-wise, I think the smash burger taco is actually the winner. Viral trend for a reason. I'm 100% behind it. Tacos are always messy, so I can deal with that. My second favorite is actually the slider. I like the ratio of bun to meat. I like that it's tiny and handheld. I can totally see myself making this version for like kids' birthday parties, having a big group of people over, because I only had to smash four patties, and I got a dozen little sliders out of it. Regular smash burger was my least favorite. I'm so stoked that we tried a couple of variations, because I will definitely be repeating these in my backyard in the future. But still, you like the smash burger I mean, classic smash burger is classic. It's so good. Now that I've tried the taco, I gotta agree. This is the best flavor, uh -huh. for sure. Like, Crazy. Down. If you take nothing away from this video, please take away the fact that you should be trying new things in your backyard. If you see something on the internet, give it a whirl. Even if it seems gimmicky, it could totally surprise you. I am definitely surprised by the Smash Burger Taco, and I am mad that I was late to the trend because I could have been making these for a lot longer. I'm into it. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll see you next time.